I am here to answer that question racing through everyone's mind in the grocery store. What products are good and worth my money? I answer this by buying new and interesting products and then recording my in-depth review so that you will know what you are getting. All of this in an attempt to bring it to you full circle. Good evening YouTube, Full Circle Review back here again with another review. This time I have the rest of the Chips Ahoy cookies. We're doing the Chunky and the Chewy today, breaking the series up so it's at least reasonable to watch. All nutritional information will be at the end of the video. Links to the other videos of the Chips Ahoy reviews will be in the description. Let's get into it. I have plain, well, vanilla unsweetened almond milk here. I have Red Velvet Chips Ahoy Chewy. Original Chips Ahoy Chewy. Chips Ahoy Chewy Reese's. Chewy Chips Ahoy Brownie. These were packaged like the chunky ones, which I found kind of odd. Chips Ahoy Coconut Chunky. This is what I'm looking forward to. Chips Ahoy Chunky. Chips Ahoy Soft Chunky Original. Chips Ahoy White Fudge Chunky. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Chewy Chips Ahoy cookies. Nonetheless, I'm going to review them just so I can say that I reviewed all the Chips Ahoy cookies. Um, I'm excited about the chunky ones. It just it seems like Chips Ahoy used to have more flavors. We're going to start today off with the Chewy Chips Ahoy. See, I, I understand why Chips Ahoy wants to have many different variations. They're, they're trying to promote the chips. I mean, they're called Chips Ahoy. I just, I feel like... A Play-Doh disc, it, it kind of even smells like Play-Doh. It's just a, it could be better, you know? It's like biting into the coating on a Fig Newton. It's sweet. Get a hint of brown sugar. This is actually a lot better than I remember. The flavor seems a little underdone. I think this could have been cooked longer while, it's, while still maintaining the chewy texture. I wish I used butter instead of like a vegetable shortening so it had buttery notes. Vanilla and salt would go far here. You get the extra sweetness of the chocolate but not really any chocolate flavor. It needs to be a darker, more robust, semi-sweet chocolate like they have in their regular or their low-fat traditional cookies. Mainly what I get here is sweet brown sugar cookie that's soft. I like the brown sugar flavor. I just, I feel like the chocolate should be much more prominent. The chocolate should be ch uh, crunchy or chunky or crispy. Like it is in their traditional cookies here, it's soft and it just melts into the cookie itself. The milk does very little for the cookie. In all honesty, this is actually a lot more pleasant than I remember. It needs salt. It needs to cook longer so it doesn't have a raw flour flavor. The chocolate should be darker, more robust with some actual mouthfeel. The texture is actually pretty nice. I do wish it had more of a fudgy pull like uh, chocolate chip cookies do. This just seems like an undercooked cookie. 79 out of 100. Pretty good chewy cookie. It's soft. I wouldn't necessarily say chewy. I would just say soft. Kind of a cakey, thin brown sugar cookie. Needs to cook longer. It's better than I remember, but they still got some uh, some way to go. Now we're going to try the Reese's Chewy. Theoretically, this will be better because it'll have Reese's in it. But if it's anything like the traditional cookie, I won't be able to taste it. Looks basically the same. There's a Reese's cup there in the middle. A lot more sweet milk chocolate flavor. I actually get chocolate here. I understand it's sweet like a Reese's chocolate though. It 
I'm not really getting any peanut butter. I just feel like Chips Ahoy really missed a great opportunity to make a chewy peanut butter cookie. I mean, typically peanut butter cookies are already chewing. Why not just do it with the Reese's? Don't really get any peanut butter aspect from the Reese's. Not too much resistance to the chew. It's kind of like a cakey chew. A little dry. Again, I wish they used butter, salt. Brown sugar flavor is good. Sweetness of the milk chocolate makes this superior to the original. I just wish I could taste the Reese's. I wish I could, could taste the peanut butter. 80 out of 100. This tastes like a milk chocolate version of the original. I don't really get any Reese's aspect here. No peanut butter flavor anywhere. Just uh, sweet milk chocolate. I like having more chocolate flavor. I wish it was darker, stronger, and actually provided some mouthfeel and texture. But uh, I don't think we're going to get that with the chewy cookies. Still better than I remember. So now let's try the red velvet. This one I think could be good. Cream cheese flavored chips. Now red velvet's just weak chocolate. And let's face it, they know how to do weak chocolate. And quite a few chips. Now see this one's cakey. Dry. But it has a very distinct red velvet cake flavor. This tastes just like a slice of red velvet cake. Just this is drier and not chewy at all. This should probably be heated. I'm testing these out of the package. If I'm going to the store and I'm going to pay money to have prepackaged cookies, I'm going to eat prepackaged cookies. If I'm going to make cookies, I'm going to make cookies. You feel me? But good cream cheese filling. The uh, filling tastes just like cream cheese frosting. Flavor here is spot on. This is spot on red velvet. You get a little bit of you know, that Dutch processed cocoa bitterness and upfront mouthfeel there at the end from the red velvet. You get some of that airy flour bake cake flavor. I wish these were a lot more moist. Butter and salt actually make the cookies chewy, but the cream cheese and red velvet flavor is on point. 92 out of 100. They just need to work on their texture here. Spectacular red velvet flavor. I could I would buy this again. Now we're gonna do the Chips Ahoy Soft Chunky Original. I don't know why they use brown packaging for these. Ooh. Now these almost look like cookies. That's a lot of chocolate. Sweet Chips Ahoy milk chocolate flavor. Very cakey cookie. Notes of brown sugar. Still needs salt, butter, and vanilla. See, I wish it was chewy. Like, you know when you bite into a cookie and it pulls, it's kind of fudgy. These are just cakey. What I get is cheap ingredients undercooked. These are far superior to the um, Chewy Original. A lot more chocolate. I still wish the chocolate was darker and was crisper, made with a higher butterfat content, so it would at least provide some mouthfeel. Nonetheless, this is a better cookie. 86 out of 100. If I had to buy a Chewy one, this would be the one I'd buy again. So now let's do the chunky. These are the ones I'm excited about because theoretically, these are the ones that have, have the most flavor. At least it looks cooked. Looks like a Chips Ahoy with a lot of chocolate. It 
texture is reminiscent of a shortbread. Ample, semi-sweet chocolate flavor. Get a little bit of butteriness. The chocolate chunks are smooth and creamy. Mm. This is actually a very pleasant cookie. I wish this had the brown sugar flavor of the chewy cookies while maintaining the butteriness that they have right now. Chocolate flavor is on point. I do wish the chocolate was a little bit crisper. And this had some salt. 94 out of 100. This is a good cookie. So now let's try the white fudge chunky. I imagine the same cookie, just sweeter. You see, these look entirely different. Entirely different animal. These are much more buttery cookies. These are almost like Pepperidge Farm. Very sweet, sweet filling. Barely taste any chocolate at all. White chocolate itself has a little bit of an artificial vanilla flavor. Mainly what you get is a much sweeter version of the Chips Ahoy. So if you like Chips Ahoy but you don't like chocolate, this would be a good option for you. You can't really taste the chocolate here, but you still get the crispy, chunky portions. This falls short on the brown sugar, vanilla, and salt aspects as all their other cookies. Nonetheless, this is just a sweeter version of the chunky. And I really wish you could taste the chocolate, but all you taste is that artificial vanilla. And extra sweetness. 78 out of 100. A little disappointing. So now let's try the chewy brownie filled. Soft cookies. This I think is going to be interesting. Why didn't they just do brownies? This filled alright. Super super dry very grainy you get a little bit of that Dutch processed cocoa flavor I like it but I wish it was stronger this is a very unnatural flavored cookie this tastes like the cheap uh, chewy vitamin You get a little bit of artificial vanilla. A lot of artificial cocoa. The thing is, I don't hate this. I think heated, this would actually be pretty presentable. Because it, it's like Oreo cocoa with a bit of a chemical bite and not as sweet. Honestly, this is like cake. Mm hmm. See, I wouldn't call this brownie, I would call this cake. But I don't hate this cookie. I would use a natural cocoa, increase the amount of fat in the cookie so it wasn't so dry, use natural vanilla, add salt. Increase the butter fat and the chocolate chips to make them crisper. That'd be a spectacular cookie. A little chemically, but if you like chocolate cake, you're gonna flip and love this. Brownie, 
Not really. Very dry and cakey. Need to work on their texture here. But I don't hate it. 86 out of 100. This is actually one I would buy again. So now the coconut chunky. I think this is going to be either a win or lose situation. Either this is going to be the best one or the worst one. Looks entirely different. Exact same texture as a Pepperidge Farm cookie. Very buttery, very light, not really hard or crunchy, but very crispy. Outstanding texture. I do wish there was more of a natural vanilla flavor and salt. Good natural coconut flavor comes through and it's toasted. Only real complaint is there's not enough chocolate. The chocolate that's in this has a good flavor and texture. It's crispy and flavorful. It's just I wish there was more of it so I could actually taste it. It's a little too soft. It needs to be crisper. But this is a great cookie. Great natural toasted coconut flavor. Just need some more chocolate. 91 out of 100. This one just needs to work on some of their technical aspects. Vanilla. Salt. More chocolate. Nonetheless, I have reviewed every single Chips Ahoy. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and y'all take care.